This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports from Edinburgh. Police at the University of Texas Pan American are investigating a suspicious death after a woman's body was found near an outdoor staircase of a campus building. A statement from the university says the body was found shortly before 8 a.m. Monday and identification of the woman is pending. The science building near where the body was found was evacuated and classes in that building were canceled for the day. Students, faculty, and staff received campus-wide alerts to avoid the area. UTPA is located in Edinburgh, about 18 miles north of the U.S.-Mexico border. From WFAA.com, Fort Worth arson investigators are working with local police to track down an arsonist following two suspicious fires on the same street Saturday night. The second fire turned deadly, killing both men inside a Fort Worth home, the home of 90-year-old Bobby Hubbard and his 67-year-old nephew, Thomas Wheat Jr., is considered a crime scene. Investigators are not commenting on their search, but confirm the first arson fire happened just a few houses down from Hubbard's about an hour earlier. In the first fire, there wasn't much damage and no harm was done to the couple living there. The Associated Press reports a court-imposed deadline for a settlement on the state's political maps is approaching and could cause a further delay in the Texas primary elections. A three-judge federal court in San Antonio gave the attorney general and minority groups until Monday to agree on temporary redistricting maps. States must draw new political districts every 10 years, but Texas maps since 1970 always end up in court. Nine groups representing minorities filed a lawsuit to keep Texas from imposing congressional and legislative maps drafted by the Republican-controlled legislature. They say the maps discriminate against them. The San Antonio court said if the groups and the attorney general can't agree on temporary maps, The April 3rd primary will be delayed at least two weeks while the court draws new ones. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.